His peers call him the New York Times of religion reporters. He's more modest. I guess you could say that I'm the Catholic Church's version of the beat writer for the Orioles. But Rocco Palmo routinely beats everyone else with scoops about the Vatican. Typing it up on his blog, Whispers in the Lodge. Baltimore may remember Palmo four years ago. When he broke the surprising news, Baltimore's Archbishop Edwin O'Brien left for a high-ranking post at the Vatican. Now he has bishops and cardinals across the globe on speed dial as trusted sources. Palmo's papal reporting was inspired by his Catholic upbringing in South Philadelphia and his father, who worked at the renowned Philadelphia Daily News for 30 years. And I was fascinated by both of them. Like, well, how do you bring this together? Well, boom, there's something called the Vatican that's the oldest government on earth. So, um, and it makes for a fascinating news story because, I mean, any given day, there are 1.2 billion Catholics in the world. Is the Vatican a tough place to cover as a journalist? Yes. Well, anything is tough to cover if you're going to get the story right. But it's, it's a very uh, secretive world. So secretive that not even Palmo's cardinal sources had any idea Pope Francis would be elected. Oh, I mean, the, the most common estimate among the cardinals going in was that they would be in there at least three to five days. And within a day, they got, they got him. Palmo says covering the Vatican is also difficult because its symbolism is so nuanced. Even most Catholics don't understand certain things. Again, you go back to the night of the election, you look at this pope. Normally, the popes dress up in like a red cape. But here you had Francis walk out just with the white garb, which he still hasn't added on to. Everything else he's basically kept in the closet. And it was a way of showing from the get-go simplicity. And to him, it's simple. His scoops are owed to his relationships with readers and, of course, the church. I guess you can call it a trade publication or Sports Illustrated for Catholics or whatever you want. But it's, um, it's those relationships. It's that sense of friendship and that sense of family that just kind of has carried me along and, and one of my favorite branches of the family is in Baltimore so um, I'm very grateful to the folks down there. George Lettuce, WBAL TV 11 News.